Okay, we've done a lot of work here creating the Richard Platt Industrial Designer website banner. Now we're going to go on and create the actual footer, which is the part down below the actual body of the web page. We've, since we've done all this work, there's really, it'd really be smart just to go ahead and continue with what we have here, but modify it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go up to File, excuse me, I'm going to come up here to Image, and I'm going to change the image size that you see here. I'm going to unlock constrained proportions, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to set the height of this to 60 pixels. Yeah, I kind of scrunched things up here a little bit, but that's okay. We can fix that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep uh, the Richard Platt layer here, and I'm going to take the rest of the layers here, and I'm going to get rid of them. First of all, I need to unlock them since I'm in Photoshop. Just come back here and unlock all the layers. And I'll hold my shift key down and select the three layers above it. And I'll go ahead and drop those in the trash can. And it gets rid of them. The reason I'm keeping the Richard Platt one is because I like the layer style that I have here. So what I'll do now is create a new layer, grab my text tool, and go ahead and turn Richard Platt off so it's kind of out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and start writing my address. Go ahead and delete that here. My address is 1200 37th Avenue East. And that text is kind of big, so I'm going to do a Control A while I'm still in the text command. I'll select all my text. I'll drop it from 48 down to, let's see what it looks like at 37 right now. And that's still a little large. I'll take it down even further, maybe to uh, 24. That looks a little better. Let's go ahead and drag this over to right here. Yeah, I got a problem with the V there, so I'll go ahead and select my text tool again. I like that. Make that a lowercase v. And let's go ahead and select all the text again using my uh, selection tool there. I think Cam 20. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. And it looks a little better. Now, let's go ahead and kind of center this up a bit. And we'll come back to the uh, Richard Platt layer and do a right mouse click. And we're going to copy that layer style. And then we're going to come up here to the 37th Avenue one. And we're going to paste that layer style. So let's put that layer style in there. Looks pretty good. Now, instead of going through all the settings again, I'm going to take the uh, 1237th Avenue layer, right mouse click, and I'm going to come up here and duplicate that layer, except this time I'm going to key in Bradenton. Florida. I'm going to highlight that, copy it, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then now that I have this layer here, I'm going to go ahead and drag this down below. So it looks like I got two actual um, addresses here. Go back to my text tool, highlight that, control A, and then key of control V. And it puts Bradenton, Florida in there. I'll do a space 34208 is my zip code. And that looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and collect this. do that and save it. Now the Richard Platt layer, I really don't need anymore. I guess I should have created layer one as well, so I'll get rid of both of those. First of all, unlock Richard Platt. Turn it back on. Unlock it. Hold my shift key down, get layer one, and put that in the trash bin. Okay. Now we still have our graphics over here that we created in Illustrator. Those are too big for what we need for, and might be too complicated for what we need for our uh, banner. So what I'll do is simplify this design here by just getting rid of the word letters Texas. And I'll stay with the star that I have here. I'll do a highlight selection, control C, go back to uh, my banner, I'll come up here to the top, collapse these layers here. And just in case I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. And now I'm gonna do a control V. I'm going to pay, place it, as you see here, and I'm going to move it over to this size here. Now it's kind of large, so I'm going to hold my shift key down, grab the upper right corner, and scale this down. 
move that up a little bit. Sometimes you need to zoom in to see something, so I do a control plus key, and now let's me zoom in. So I move this over here, like about right there. Do a control minus and zoom out. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and place this, and as I place it, it goes ahead and cleans up the graphics in the pixelated image. Now, since I have this layer 2 out here, I'm going to go ahead and copy that layer style or paste that layer style along. It looks nice. I'm going to take layer 1, which I didn't need, get rid of it, double click on this, and call it left star. Okay. And we'll collapse that layer. Right mouse click, duplicate layer, call it right star. my shift key down and I will use my move tool as you see here grab that and slide it across to it looks about the same distance apart we'll save that I'm not going to put my address in here because that would make it too busy uh, what I'll do is I'm going to just across here I'll come back and use the address at a later time in a later area okay that looks good now let's go ahead and save this file I'm going to do a save as and instead of being website banner I'll highlight this uh, letter banner Call it website footer. Okay, got two R's, so I get rid of one of those. Always in your file structure, make sure you use everything in lowercase and no weird characters. Just use the underscore if you need to put a space in there. Because that way the web servers that you host your site on will be able to see it easier. And you won't have as many file manipulation problems and file naming problems. Okay. Now, since we've created a Photoshop file that, that's good. Let's create a save for web file. I've got it set to ping. 60 is fine. My, my size of that's going to be 13.38 kilobytes. Go ahead and save that. Same location. Hit save. Okay. So now we've finished our banner. So we'll stop here for now, and then we'll proceed on to starting to build our website using Dreamweaver.